Hey everyone, in this video I just want to talk about how we can turn strings, whether it is stored in a variable, given to you by a user, whatever, into a mathematical expression. So fortunately Python makes this extremely easy. Let's just say we have this function here, 4x squared plus 3x to the fourth power minus 1. If we wanted to find a solution to this function at let's say x equals 2, well how would we do that? If we just printed our function variable, then it just prints a string back to us, which isn't what we want. So to resolve this, we use the eval method, which will convert this string into a numerical data type. So just by changing this x variable here, we can evaluate this function at different inputs. Let's see what other cool things we can do with this eval method. Well, one thing I find interesting is taking this function from our user and applying it to a Python function which allows us to evaluate the function at different input values. So to do this, let's define a function for f of x and say that f is equal to the line that we had earlier that is the eval method with our function string as the argument. Then we need to return f. Now let's just enter a few inputs. Let's do a, b, and c all with different input values. So now we are able to evaluate this function at all of these inputs here by just printing the f of input. So as you can see here, we are returning the output for all of these inputs from our initial unusable string term, which I think is pretty cool. We can also use it to evaluate strings as mathematical expressions. And by that, I mean if we type print eval and then a plus b plus two in the strings here, we will receive a numerical data out. Whereas if we remove the eval method, then we would receive a string out and not a number. We can even have the output of our function as an input like a used in these mathematical expressions. We can also create booleans using this eval method. So if we wanted to check if the output of f of a is less than one, we can do it like so. And once we use the print statement, we can see that it is a false boolean returned to us. Just as a final note, if you do anything other than a mathematical expression in the eval method, then an error will be raised to you as you can see here. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how we turn strings into mathematical expressions in Python. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.